Hi, God bless you. I'm here to share something for you again. Uh, once again, it's the Holy Spirit leading me to share something today. Uh, it's regarding about the will of God. It is the will, the will of God on your life and in my life uh, to air, uh, to your loved ones. To, add, to every step of the way, what is the will of God for you? Okay, so uh, from the beginning when God uh, created the world, before the foundation of the world, He already had a good plan for you. Um, like I said, that uh, your name is written in the book of life already. When you were just in your mother's womb, your name is written in the book of life. Uh, but uh, that book, that names, that names can be blotted up uh, it depends upon you because god gave will to a man he gave us a will the freedom the will to do what is right and what is wrong there's what you call age of accountability like uh, there is an age level when you know to think what is right and what is wrong that that is the that that's the the free will that he gave us there is an age of accountability but uh, if you look at jeremiah 29 everyone familiar about that chapter and verse jeremiah 29 verse 11 this is the will of god for i know the thoughts that i think toward you this is what god is saying okay this is now god is speaking jeremiah 29 verse 11 for i know the thoughts that i think toward you saith the lord thought of peace and not of evil to give you an unexpected end okay expected end it means that his expectation is the end is good in the amplified bible uh, it says there, for I know the plans and thoughts that I have for you, says the Lord, plans for peace and well-being, and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. That's Amplified Bible. Amplified is very good because it, it amplifies, it gives more volume or sound, it, 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 it clarifies more, more about the Bible verse. So in any version that you, you see it, uh, I usually use the King James Version, which is the original uh, Bible anyway, and then I use the Amplify, for I know the plans and thoughts that I have for you say is the Lord he knows it he knows he already planned he made plans from the beginning he already recorded what we needed to do in our life he gave us a mission while we're still at my at our mother's womb he gave us a mission he already made plans he already planned it as you can see if there is an architect in the house he did already plan uh, where is the living room the and dining room the how many how many um how many rooms you know they already made plan a beautiful plan and thoughts that i have for you says the lord plans for peace p-e-a-c-e -E, peace and well-being so well-being when we say well-being well the words well is good and not for disaster to give you future and I hope that is the plan of God. So uh, there is a misconception of the will of God for us sometimes that when you uh, stay in a place, uh, there is what you call, you, we become legalistic. Everything happened for a reason. That's what we usually say. Everything happened for a reason. You know, let's say you plan to go somewhere, right? This, <clears throat> this is, this is your plan. You don't know what to do, and and you plan to go somewhere to plan about your life without consulting without praying it to the lord your plans let's say you 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 plan you plan to uh study to study doctorate let's say only okay let's say you plan to study doctorate without uh uh, praying it to the Lord doctor is good okay you plan to have doctorate or you plan to get married right away without telling it to the Lord and and then later on your plans failed 
you failed, you know, wherever your plans failed. And then here you go, you're gonna say that it's all good. This is the plan of God. This is the plan of God. This is the plan of God. Uh, it is what it is. Everything happened for a reason. No, it's not. <laughs> the plan of God for you, it says here, to give you peace, well-being, not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. So the plan for God for you is all good. It's all good. And let's say you get sick and then you just, the doctors say that you have cancer. That's a common, that's a common um, um, diagnosis of a doctor, cancer, anything, diabetes or anything. And then you just accept, this is it. This is the plan of God for me. I have to be, if I get well, it's the plan of God. If I don't get well, it's the plan of God. No, it's not. The plan of God for you is for you to get well. Because by His stripes you were healed. His plan for you is for you to get well. It's not His plan for you to be get to get sick. That is not his plan. If you look at it, where is Jesus right now? Where is Jesus right now? Is Jesus sick? No. Is Jesus okay? Yes. He's sitting at the right hand of God. Is Jesus alive and well? Yes. So if Jesus is alive and well, we're sitting next to him, that is his plan for us to have, to be, to have, to, to everything his plan are all good. So then how come there is an outcome about the plan that we failed there is an outcome because of what there is always a consequence of what we do maybe uh, we 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 uh, there is there's a result of our bad decisions in life there is a result of of good decisions that we have in life that's why it is important to lay down your plan you ask lord is this your will for me is this your will for me like i, I am uh, i'm gonna give you example as me i was in new york my husband in california before and and then um we separate ways for a little while and i asked god lord my husband wants me to go to california is this your will god uh, will oh lord or not i pray so lord tell me if this is your will or not tell me tell me if this is your will or not you tell me you you um speak to me lord speak to me to my heart and tell me what to do because i i'll commit it to you so now um uh, and, and and now and uh, when uh, when that is just a plan and I, i'm not uh, i'm not 100 percent sure if i want to go here or not but then uh there is there's a vision of god and it says that uh, go go to a land where where there is rain and sun and there is always going to be rain in there I, I will not make that land to be dry land just go over there so i listen to the voice of god how do i know that that he said that to me because and that night i was dreaming that the land there was rain in the land there are fruits or baskets and vegetable and i know that okay and i see mountains and everything so that that was a vision that God gave me. I pray about it. So you're not, you're not gonna neglect this land that I'm going. There will be rains and in season time there be there be plenty plenty. It's a plenty land of plenty. So I said I'll follow what you will, Lord. And I listened to the voice of God. And 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 here we are. My husband and I are together. Uh, if anyone uh, anyone. Um, you know what husband and wife is let no man put asunder if whatever god put together let no man put asunder so uh, it, it is not right for you to say that oh i'm poor this is the plan of god i'm poor because this is it where i am no it's not his plan for you it is clearly says on on jeremiah 29 verse 11 that for i know the plans and thoughts that i have for you he already know it he he already know it he planned it because he's a good good father father He's a good, good father. And he says, the Lord, a plan for peace, not chaos. Peace and well-being. A well-being is well. You are good. Well in what? Physically, emotionally, in all areas of life. Not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. So many of us plan 
our life without telling it, consulting it to the Lord, without consulting it to the Lord. That's why we failed. Before, that's why we failed because we just, we just, <clears throat> I did it my way. I did it my way. That's a big disaster. You like you do it your own way without thinking or without planning it without telling it to the lord ahead of time okay so that that's uh um i'm, I'm gonna read a couple of verses okay and this is the will of the lord to us in if you look at romans 12 verse 2 be not conformed to this world but ye transformed by renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that is good good and acceptable and perfect will of God, three of them. What is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God? Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed that by renewing of your mind. Renewing of your mind. Be not conformed to this world. What is the conformation of this world? What is the standard of this world? The standard of this world, you know it, the last of the flesh, the last of the eyes, and the pride of life that is the world of satan we're living in the world of satan till now because we're still flesh when the perfect day is come when the rapture comes that's when the, that that is the perfect day that we will have a glorified body we're for, we're going to be forever young forever healthy forever strong that is uh, when uh, when the rapture comes when the new earth and the new heaven comes there will be no more chaos in the in the whole world if we make it to the rapture praise god if we don't make it to the rapture we still if we're going to be a people of god we're still going to end up with new heaven heaven and you are but he said be not conformed to this to, to this world the standard of this world is is less of the flesh less of the eyes and the pride of life anything that will destroy your body anything that will destroy your body is the world let's say uh like drinking smoking okay these things uh uh anything addict addictives this will destroy your body because your body is the temple of the holy ghost no you not no you not you're the temple you are the temple of the holy ghost so you if you're the temple of the holy ghost you have to take care of your body even what you eat even what you um, even 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 what you, what you have to do during winter time to take care of keep yourself warm and everything because you're the temple of the holy spirit be not conforming to this world but he transformed change it transform by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good acceptable and perfect will of god the perfect will of god is when he comes back our body is blameless there is no it's it, it's blameless we're perfect in his sight that is that is the will of god we're perfect in his sight okay that but we're still corrupt okay our body is still corrupt that's why sicknesses came when adam and eve um uh, sin all this chaos of, we have to pay our bills we have to strive up to our we have to work hard to survive because of the sin what makes you sinner what makes you sinner is not about your sin what makes you sinner is because you were born sinners all of us are come short of the glory of god we were just sinners but when we <clears throat> become uh, born again and enter into his kingdom then we have the tendency now that we can renew our mind renewing your mind is every day uh, because the will of god is what good perfect and acceptable that's the that's the will of god now let's go to first second thessalonians first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 it says here there's another mis misunderstanding about here first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 18 in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you so in, in other words that every bad things every chaos uh, every separation every divorce that happened to you you just say thank you lord thank you lord okay you might you might you might say that oh it's a blessing in these guys that i separate this man you can say that okay but 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 the but the will of god for you is always good okay even 
even the, even the partner in life should be perfect should be perfect you have to consult the lord look at adam did not look for eve anywhere sometimes we go somewhere and look for our happiness in the wrong places we go to the bar to look for a woman or men we go we call uh, we call we call a, a, that friends friendship thing and a phone where you can have a little happiness something like that you call somebody to come and and have sex or anything and pay them that's not the will of god adam woke up with eve in, in, next to him it means that is the that is the will of god the the matchmaker is god okay because in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in Christ concerning you so when bad things happen to you you just say thank you Lord because it happened to me no it is your bad decisions it is your action there is a consequence of your action why it happens why it happens so if if, if God is responsible for everything oh God is in control God is in control no you're not God, God is not in con God is not in control when you control it you're the one who decide to do it you're the one who who made that action you're the one who did it that's why the result is bad you're the one who did it he has given you dominion he has given you authority to do what is right and what is wrong so that is not the will of god don't blame it is what it is oh thank god thank god i'm sick if god's will that i get better i will get better if god's will that i don't get better i don't get better no it's not the will of god for you to to get well by his trust you were healed for you third john 2 said third john 2 i wish above all things all things be thou prosper be in health be in health as thy soul prosper it right now god uh, jesus is sitting down next to the right hand of god he is alive and well so this is the this is the this is the will of god for you every stripes that he has at the cross is your sickness he took your curse so don't be saying that thank god i'm poor i'm poor right now no it's not that's not the will of God for you. The will of God for you is not for you to get poor. Because he bore. He became poor so you will not be poor. He, he, he took all the curses in life at the cross. He took all the infirmities. He overpaid us. He, he, he redeemed us from the curse of the law. He redeemed us from all your curses, from all your sin. There's no more curse right now. There's, there's a curse because you believe it. Because you're still, you're still walking under the law. When you're walking under the law, the law demands, then you, you can feel the curse in your life. There is always curse in your life because the law curse it gives condemnation. That's why you feel the curse in your life because you're still walking under the law. You're not you're not under the law anymore. You're under grace. Everything that we do, we depend on Him. You become righteous because of what He has done. You become you, everything that you are right now because of what He has done. Because of His obedience, the obedience of Jesus Christ. Not about you. It's not about you. Under the law, it's all about you, what you can do to God, what you can what you can exert effort to please Him, what, what must you do to be holy, what must you do to be right. It, it's all about you, 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 you. But under grace, it's all about what He has done for you. So what He has done for you is a complete package. He, he wants you well. He wants you well in all areas of life. Not, not, physically, you're not sick. And, and, and anything and, and so everything that you have done that the bad things that happened to you in your life don't blame God it's all for you you made the decision it, that is the result of your bad decisions in life so if, but if you follow now the will of God the will of God for you is to prosper be in health as your soul prospereth, as you grow maturely in the Lord. The same thing you grow maturely, you grow, you grow, you grow maturely in the knowledge and wisdom of God. God the, the plan for you of God is to have wisdom. Okay, yeah. Now there is another one in, in first John 4, verse 17. This is the will of God. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may be that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because 
as he is, and so are we in this world. Because did you hear that? Because as he is, and so are we in this world. It means that whatever he has, that's what we got. Whatever he got, that's what we have. He has power. We got the power too. We have the Holy Spirit. We got the power. He is. He is alive and well. We should be alive and well. We. We. Whatever he got, as he is, and so are we in this world. We are now. We are not the tail. We are the head. We are not the tail. We have dominion over all. Overall, he gave us dominion. We have authority over Satan because Satan has been defeated. So don't let Satan be be overrule you just because you're sick. Oh, this is the will of God for me. I'm sick. I, 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 if I die, if I die, this is his will. Or if I don't die, this is his will. No, his will for you to for you to get well. The, no, the one that that the the last enemy of God is death. He took the kiss of, of death and life from Satan. So you have now the authority to drive up the demons, to drive up the, the sickness and diseases in your body because our body is still corrupt, to drive up the, 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 the deception of Satan. There are a lot of deception out there. You can drive up the deception of Satan. So the will of God for you is good. It's always good. He's not, when you give things, He's not an Indian giver also. He gave it. Get like just like the anointing. The anointing of Lucifer, he did not take it back. Lucifer is is Satan. He was created by God. He's an angel of light. He was anointed. He's he's the most handsome um, creature that he he he, uh, he created before. Because of pride, he failed. He became evil. Okay, but his anointing is still there. He did not take out the anointing of Lucifer. He's still anointed till now. Because our God is a giver. He he does not take away when he gives things to you. He does not take away. He does does not take away life. Once he give you the life, that's it. He he, he didn't take. He is not the one that takes away life. It is a product of your of your uh, of your consequence of what you you did in your body. You abuse your body, then uh, the result will be sickness. You know, anything that you do with your body, any deception that you follow, Satan, there is always a result. It it is not. It, it is what it is. <laughs> Um, it is what it is. It, take out that kind of of, of mentality, that kind of of, of expression. That God never had that kind of expression. His will is always good and perfect for you. Uh, His will is always good and perfect for you. So when when you say in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ concerning you, if you look at the context in First Thessalonians chapter five, if you look at the context for everything in there in chapter five, it's all saying about the good things that he that he said that comfort one another. Okay, and he said the year that. Uh, esteem, esteem each other, comfort, exhort one another, D see that none render evil for evil, nobody will render evil to evil, so I I I if something, if something bad happened to you, that is not the will of God, it is, it is the result of what you have done in your life, it, because God gave you freedom, God gave you wisdom, so it is the result of what happened to your life. It is not the will of God. So that, like, 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 uh, okay, it's is the thorn of the flesh of, of Paul. My grace is sufficient for thee. It, is it the will of God for Paul to get sick? No. It, is it the will of God for Job to get sick? No. He, he is, his, uh, his wealth is gone. His children gone. No, that's not. That Satan attacked them. Satan, as you can see, if you look at the Bible, if you read that, uh, uh, what happened to them, Satan was the one who gave the thorn of the flesh. Satan was the one who gave sicknesses and took the wealth of Job until, until, until at the end of Job, he realized, he said that, Lord, whatever I thought about you, I am wrong. I'm sorry. Forgive me. He asked forgiveness that you are still a faithful God. You are God who is good. See, whatever he, he perceived about God, he, he, he asked forgiveness. 
You see that? Because God is a good God. God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of sickness and diseases. It did come from Him. He is not the author of your bad things that happen in your life. It is the it is the consequence of what you have done your part. That's what it is. It's up to you. It's up to you. you Jesus take the wheel. Okay, Jesus take the wheel. But it's up to you to drive it. Where you want to go? You want to go to the left or you want to go to the right? That's why I want to... I want to give. I, I want to clear this thing that it says that broad is the way going to destruction. Narrow is the way to go to 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 the to the path of life. Okay, narrow is the way. The path of life that is saying the destruction that is saying is the life right now. It is not about heaven and and hell. That is wrong. That 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 the broad is the way to go to destruction, and now is the gate to go to path of life. That that the one that God is saying is Jesus is saying is the life now. Now is the gate to go to path of life. The one that knows how to deal with life. Now is the gate to path of life. Is the path of life because we are not thinking. We're not using our wisdom. We use the wisdom of the world. That's why we go to destruction. That is broad is the way. But if you go to Revelation, the heaven, it, the, the heaven is 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 a lot of all kinds of people are there. You see all kinds of nation or anything. That is that is the meaning of that of, of that Bible verse. That is the meaning of the Bible verse. It, it's, it's now is the gate to go to the to the to the path of life because we are not thinking. We are not. We are not. We are not really using the wisdom that God gave us you were not losing we're, we we worry too much it says it, it says it says there if you want to be um, you want to be greater than Solomon or the Levis worry not about your life don't worry about what tomorrow will bring give all your cares to upon him give all your cares upon him and he will tell you what to do give all your cares upon him okay once you give your cares upon him he will show you the path of life he will show you the right thing in life the path of life that's why now is the gate to go to the path of life because very few can go to the path of life to have a healthy a healthy mind a healthy a healthy a healthy body a healthy a healthy way of of life okay it's because we're we're looking at our own effort we're looking at what we can do we we, we rely about ourselves we rely what we can do our self-effort we rely what others can do for us we don't we we, we 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 instead of looking at the promises of God and looking at them and then when you when you rely on him he will tell you what to do it's all about him now it's all about him we are in this world this world is the God of this world is Satan we are corruptible but that we